Hey guys, so I just um, got done with the Craigslist meet, but I wanted to just say, you know, what that game sold for, the Apple II, a Calabeth, and Ultima, ended up selling for $3,383, which is incredible, I'm just so, so happy about that. So many people commenting like, hey, um, you should go back and give more money, um, you know, you're, you're making you're making thousands off of the guy, like just just all sorts of comments like that, and I, I really, I get that way of thinking, um, but the thing is, like, in this case, he named the price, um, and I didn't know the stuff was worth that much. I was ignorant to it, I was taking the risk, um, I go out sailing, you know, tons of hours every single week put in the work put in the effort and sometimes you know you're gonna get a huge reward like this and I think um, the collective time of um, putting in the effort uh, I don't think you have to go and give the person more money um, that's just my opinion in, in my case I still did um, it was an interesting scenario I was kinda praying about it I told I'm gonna actually tell this story um, of how I went back and I'll play that clip after this but I did go I did end up going back and paying a little more money um, but that was because he texted me that he had more games so I'll show that pick up after this but yeah um, I think where you should maybe pay more is if you know the value and they tell you to name a fair price in which case I think you should name a fair price now what's a fair price, how do you define that? Uh, me, maybe around 50% of the value if I'm selling it. Um, so you know, there's time, there's effort, there's possible returns, there's all sorts of stuff. You gotta leave at least 50% margin. Um, or, you know, double, be able to double your money if nothing goes wrong. But if it's a case where the garage sale person names the price and um, you buy the item, then you know you're happy they're happy and you put in the time and effort to be able to find the deals and you know you're not obligated to go back and pay them more money um, so yeah I just wanted to talk about that a little bit I know there's a lot of varying opinions out there but man if there was like a guilt of like oh man I paid 20 bucks and this sold for a hundred I gotta go back and pay another 20 bucks I'd be going back to sales like all the time and it would just be exhausting um, having that mindset so obviously this was a special occasion but yeah I just picked up this PS2 with probably about 20 games um, for 50 bucks and there was one game in there that kind of sealed the deal so first we got real fishing um, so there's some PS1 games Tomb Raider 3 NASCAR 98 PGA Tour 98, Tomb Raider 2, this one looks kind of interesting, Battle Hunter, Test Drive 4, Tekken 2, and I'm going to save the best one for last, we got Sly Cooper, Paintball, Summer Athletes, The Ultimate Challenge, Turok, Evolution, and everything's in really great shape. Super bike, super truck racing, army men, soldiers of misfortune, the golden compass, and the spiderwick chronicles, and the best of the bunch, street fighter plus alpha, in minty fresh, complete condition. So that right there on Amazon at least is about a thirty dollar game I might be keeping it for the collection just because it's pretty uncommon and it's awesome <laughs> uh, I got a PS2 controller well, I guess it came with two both in great shape nice to have extras because I'm always needing extras guys I find so many PS2's in garage sale season and a lot of them don't have controllers uh, there's the cords and then it looks like the system has a memory card 
It's in really nice shape. And then we got a Tomb Raider 3 guide, which I did not know was included. So yeah, 50 bucks for all that. And then now I'm going to show the clip of the last box of games that I got from the Apple II game guy, Larry. Alright guys, so there's been a lot of comments about the uh, my my craziest find ever with all the Apple II games. Uh, I only paid 20 bucks for everything. It was just an incredible deal. Well, I was kind of praying about it and, and you know, thinking about it and I was like, hey, you know, God, if you want to give me a sign or something, if, if I should go and give him more money, then I'll go ahead and do it. And then after I'm doing that, Larry, the guy that owns the game, texted me again. He said, hey, I found another box. It's five bucks if you want it. So, like, okay, well, that's awesome. So I kind of, you know, think about the amount, pray about the amount a little bit, what I should give him. And I go over and, you know, I said, hey, they ended up being worth more than I realized. I didn't know it um, at the time. So if you'd be willing to take um, this amount of money, the amount's kind of irrelevant. Um, and he was like, wow, you know, just kind of taken back and just... Um, very honored that I would do that and he ended up like he was like I don't feel comfortable taking what you're offering so he took a lesser amount and he was like I just really appreciate your honesty you took the risk and you know so he was very grateful him and his wife and um, normally I wouldn't do that kind of thing I think it's okay you know if you get the deal and they're happy with the price you're taking the risk you're the, um, doing a lot of the searching um, you gotta put in the work and the time to find deals like this um, but in this case, it was it was pretty obvious. Hey, he texted me back. You know, this is my chance to be able to um, see what he thinks. And so I'm really thankful that I had the opportunity to do that. But again, no condemnation if for anybody that doesn't do that. Um, I don't think it's necessary to do that. That's just in this case um, what I felt peace about. You know, it was a <laughs> it was definitely a blessed find in the first place. So. Um, Thought I could give a little bit back to him of that blessing. Um, so, the games that we got this time around, King's Quest VI. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there's the outer slip cover. Here's the manuals. And it looks like it is a different kind of floppy, but a whole bunch of them. Super cool. I got the manuals. Um, looks like there's like 10 floppies with that. That is... It's MS-DOS. So, I love that box art. That's really awesome. Okay, let's see. This looks interesting. It's one of the slipcover games for the Apple II. Um, not sure if the game's actually in there. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, it doesn't look like the game's in there. But he's still got my number, and um, they seem to think that they still have the Nintendo and some more games somewhere, so they're going to get a hold of me if they can find any of it. This is Ulysses, uh, Apple II. I'm not sure if we're going to find the box for that in here. Let's see, some loose papers, oh, here's the Ulysses, um, that looks awesome, <laughs> good look at that, it's like a slipcover kind of thing too, and it's got the manual inside, alright, let's keep it coming, we got, this one looks pretty cool too, Zendar, it's in one of these poly bag kind of things, which Apparently is how they sold a lot of these um, old Apple II games. <laughs> Not the best marketers. Every time I come out here, it's raining. Um, Road Rash. That does not look like it's Apple II. That looks a lot newer. That's probably DOS or something. For sale and distribution in Asia only. That's interesting. Simtown Manual. Doesn't look Apple II either. This one's really cool. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry, The Land of the Lounge Lizards. Um, so this is Apple II. And there's the games. I mean, he wanted five bucks for this box. 
um, which, you know, that's incredible. Um, so I, obviously, I paid a little more for this one as well. After telling him, you know, it's worth more than I realized. Here's a Need for Speed. That looks like it's DOS. Okay, let's see. Amnesia. That is Apple II. So that is pretty amazing. Um, ooh. Sundock from Accolade. Another Apple II looking... I think it's Apple II. Just like a fold-out <laughs> thing. Super amazing. The Dam Busters, also from Accolade, another fold out deal, and those seem complete. And then we got a couple of these Quick Think and Reader Rabbit. And those are Apple II. 5.25 inch discs. And then there's just like some random little booklets like that. I I'm not sure if those are like reprints or original or what we're working with there. And a book with who knows what curve fitter instruction manual. So that's everything. Um, pretty sure that's all the Apple II stuff that he's got. They've been cleaning house, and that's what we ended up with. And I was just very thankful I had the opportunity to um, go back. So. Awesome. Hey guys, I'm sitting here at McDonald's waiting on a Facebook meet for some Pokemon cards. And I'm getting them for 40 bucks. They were asking 50. Um, there's one, I think it's a first edition Dark Charizard. I can't tell if it's a hollow or a regular. I'm not 100% sure if it's a first edition. So I'm definitely hoping for it. But there's also a lot of other nice hollows like Blastoise Base Set and just a few other random ones. So should be a decent pickup and I'll show you guys when I get it. Alright guys, so the deal didn't exactly go as planned. Um, he had taken out the Dark Charizard first edition because people were asking, hey can I get a closer picture and he forgot to put it back in, which is a bummer. But he was saying, yeah, I wondered why people were asking me about that one so I looked it up and saw I was going for like 30 bucks. Um, so I I just gotta say, you know, if you're looking, if you see like a nice bundle of games or cards or something, it might be smarter just to try to buy the whole thing um, for a good price and factor in the nice card because he was like, yeah, I know that's the good one now because so many people pointed it out. So I thought that was interesting. But still, I ended up getting the cards that he had in there for 20 bucks, and that's still a pretty good deal for what I got. So you can see there. Got RK9, Machamp, Hitmonchan, Magneton. Right here we got a base set Blastoise. Beedrill, Mad King, Gold Duck. And they're in decent condition. And they're pretty much all hollows. Three hollows, Zapdos at the top, Ampharos. It's a Victory Bell. Pidgeot, Alakazam. Snorlax. And then some promos. Mewtwo's, a Ninetales, Pikachu, Beedrill, and Snorlax and Scyther Hollow, and Good Champ, and is that Sabrina's Gengar. So 20 bucks for that, not too bad. The Blastoise is probably like a $10 card alone. I would say they're probably worth around 40 bucks, 40 to 50 bucks, um, if I end up selling them, which I might. They're not like mint condition um, so I might just sell them in a group and get 40 or 50 bucks but he also brought some sports cards um, just as a just in case I was interested and I said oh, I'll take a look you know and there's a binder like this and they're mostly basketball cards I offered him five bucks and he took it um, the one in there that caught my eye was a Kobe Bryant rookie card. Um, just an upper deck. But they're pretty much all star cards here. With lots of doubles in the sleeves, so we'll see if there's any other interesting ones. There's a Jim Kelly 1987 Tops rookie card. Can't really show you. Um, 
Joe Montana's. Just, you know, somewhat interesting, but not too interesting. I was only willing to pay five bucks for it. But yeah. Ended up being a, a decent deal. Real bummer. He said the Dark Charizard First Edition wasn't hollow. And that does make a big difference in the value. That takes off about 30 bucks from the hollow one. So it's not like the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it still. Thank you guys for watching Chase After the Right Price. We truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe right here. Go ahead and do that. It would be awesome. And when you subscribe, hit that little bell so you can get the notifications. Because every Friday, we put out a new video at 4 p.m. If you don't hit the bell, you won't get notified. So hit that, and you'll get the notification. Also, guys, be sure to check us out on all social media. The links are below in the description. And have a great week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Chase after the right price.